Sunday marks Holocaust Remembrance Day around the world, and tonight we meet a Holocaust survivor you won't soon forget. Her journey has taken her from Poland to Philadelphia. Her story involves an unlikely friendship that helped her embrace life. Lisa thomas Laurie joins us with an Action News special report, Her Story. Well, Jim, her story is not only inspirational, it's remarkable. Through pain and suffering, humiliation and death, she persevered. How did a young Jewish girl from Poland turn the most tragic circumstances into profound personal growth? There is a wonderful Jewish word called chutzpah. But Nina Kaleska has wondered about her journey from the depths of evil. Why I'm here, I don't know. I really can't tell you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. It must be providence or something that I needed to do to show that I have, I have survived Hitler because I could have become bitter and angry, and I'm exactly the opposite. She was only 13 when the Germans invaded Poland in 1941. She and her family were hauled off to a Nazi death camp and then Auschwitz, where her mother and father and her sister Sala, a world-class gymnast, died. Nina tells me that months later she has an unusual encounter with a soldier who is guarding her and the other prisoners, a young man from Luxembourg who was drafted into the German army. I was 16 and I was completely, I was so naive. He was adorable. He was 19. His name was Lucien and Nina was shocked when he befriended her and became concerned about her safety. He fell in love with me and he says, look, they are going to kill you and I would like to help you escape. The young soldier and the Jewish prisoner had to keep their plans and relationship a secret from the other guards and inmates. Lucien told Nina when the war was over, he would take her to Luxembourg to meet his family. But as the war ended, Lucien was unable to keep his promise. He said, we have to ship out tonight, but I spent all night writing you a letter, and he gives me that letter, beautiful, beautifully written and a photograph of him as a civilian, and he kissed me. Nina and the other prisoners were evacuated, and a guard told her Lucien had been killed on the Russian front. My heart sank. Mm. I never thought that I would grieve for a man in a German uniform. All of these years, I never forgot him because he represented a moment of beauty and truth and hope amid, amidst hell and death and darkness. Nina regained her freedom in May of 1945 and arrived in the U.S. in 1950 at age 21. She married, raised two sons, then with no more than the equivalent of a seventh grade education, she earned a sociology degree at the University of Pennsylvania and then her master's at Temple. And she sang professionally. That is Nina performing a gorgeous aria at age 78, she still lives her life with passion and enthusiasm. <laughs> Nina Kaleska has taught voice lessons to students at Penn and at Bryn Mawr and Haverford Colleges, and she has spoken about her life, her journey around the country in an effort to foster better relations between Christians and Jews. An extraordinary woman. And you know, a friend of hers put out an ad in uh, Luxembourg's largest newspaper to try to find Lucien's family. Really? Yeah, she funny. was beautiful at 21. She looks wonderful at 78. She sure does. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Lisa. Okay.